and welcome to another episode of Calorie Free Sunday Junk Journal Snacks, <laughs> bite-sized inspiration for your own journals. We are, of course, working in Nadia's beautiful journal. It is so scrumptious. I love it. <laughs> so let's see. I'm again working in the back. This is the one we did last time. Oh, I just love this spread so much i can't even tell you this paper is just amazing and today i'm going to work on this white page so this is a good one if you suffer from the dreaded white page <laughs> so i'm just gonna put my cigar box underneath to stabilize the whole journal a little bit I think many of us can relate to the fear of the blank page. I know I've been there. Of course, in a journal like this, it is not such a huge fear because it's not a pristine white new journal where I'm just starting to work in. So there's so much in here already. And this is one of the very few white pages I have. The easiest thing you can do with a white page is to stick things on it in order to get rid of this whiteness. That is so scary for some reason. On this page, I want to document another visit to my botanical garden, which is nearby. It's like a 15 minute walk from my house. And I go walk there regularly because it is so beautiful. They have thousands of plants from all over the world. And I took some photos. This was back end of August, actually, of these beautiful, hmm, I think in English, I mean, in German, they're called dahlias. I'm, I could imagine in English, it's the same word. <laughs> if not, I will add it here to the screen. And I'll show you the, what the original pictures looked like here. But if you know this journal, you know that those colors are a no-go for this journal because I'm trying to make this journal more or less color cohesive. So the colors I have here are neutral, gold, earthy tones, blues, and yellows. So I had to change the colors of these beautiful flowers and some of you might not agree with this choice and you would have liked to leave them original and I respect that. But <laughs> my mission is a different one. I'm just looking forward to flipping through this journal at the end when it's all color coordinated. I think it will be a very interesting journal. So as I mentioned, I decided to change the colors of the dahlias and then I decided to actually make a digital paper out of it, which I will make available for you as a freebie. So go check this out below if you like what you're seeing. So what I did was after I changed the colors, so this one I only changed lightly because this was yellow, but of course these were pink. So I had to change those to blue. <laughs> So I basically cut them out digitally and then I added them on top of a snippet roll that I have here. This is also one that I have in real life. <laughs> it's a part of this snippet roll that I have here. So it's just a photo of that. And then I also decided it needed some lace underneath. So I added some lace underneath as well to make a nice layered belly band. <laughs> And I added some old paper underneath. So this is a digital you can just print out and put in your journal as it is. I'm going to do something a little bit different. But in order to get rid of this blank page, I want to cover it up and I'm going to actually use this side here. So I'm going to tear a piece a little smaller than my page. And by the way, if you would like snippet rolls just like this without the floral decorations, I have a printable of that as well. And I will link that for you as well. So now we have the paper so that it would fit. But of course, I don't like the white edge. So what I'm going to do is take some coffee and a brush and I'm going to go around the edges. Just using it like I would use maybe watercolor paint. Just want to be sure not to make this part here where the spine is too wet because I don't want that 
seeping through all of the pages not because i would mind the coloring but because i don't want to weaken the binding maybe i can try to make it darker in some places i don't want an even coating i want it to look kind of distressed and i can mop up anything here in the middle where it's too much i have dried this with my heat gun it smells like really nice roasted coffee right now <laughs> And of course it went through to the other side here, but I think that is fine. I actually like how that turned out here. Not sure yet what I will do with this one, if I will color it or not, I don't know. So now we have our coffee dyed edges. And if we put this over it, it's going to blend in beautifully, but I do want to ink up these edges because there is some white showing through from the tearing that I don't want. I am not gluing this down yet because I have another idea that maybe I want to do here. So now I want to take my actual belly band and I'm going to just tear around this. If I would just cut along the paper bits which are torn, it kind of looks weird. I've tried that once before, I didn't like how it looks. So I'm going to try to tear as closely to the actual belly band as possible. I made a boo-boo while tearing this and I tore into the flower. So I'm just going to repair that by putting another scrap of paper behind it. It's not a big deal. There, it's all patched up now. Now I need to see, it's probably too long. So I'm going to tear off a little bit on the top and the bottom as well. And then I'm going to ink around this to make it stand out more. And these two bits with the lace on it are going to go into my smallest scrap box to use in collaging for another project. Now I'm going to glue the top and the bottom of this belly band onto my background. My idea first was actually to put brads through these here just as another accent. But now I just thought actually why don't I add some eyelets instead and then maybe we could string something through and make a little bow here. Let's try that. So let's make two holes. So good thing we haven't glued this down yet. Otherwise I would have to punch the holes through here as well. Wouldn't be a big problem but I prefer this. So one here and one here. And then I'm going to add golden eyelets since we have a lot of gold in this journal. Okay, so now we have this and we have room in here to put something. Now let me look for some twine. I'm thinking either this neutral one or maybe this blue and white baker's twine or the yellow and white baker's twine. Let's try the bright yellow one first and see what that would look like. So this is what the yellow one would look like. Of course we would tie a little bow and in comparison this is what the blue and white one looks like. It is thicker as well. I don't know. Let's see the white one. No, I don't like the white one. Kind of like the blue. Blue and white. Yep, I think I'm going to go with this one. Kind of tricky to find the right tightness. You don't want it too loose, but you don't want it too tight either. Okay, I think that should work. Mwah! Mwah! 